Hey, so um, in the previous video we learned that um, an integral of a function uh, x squared dx equals to um, x cubed all over 3 plus c. This type of integral is called an indefinite um, integral because we're actually we're not really getting a value of an integral we're just getting an expression or a function um, that corresponds to a function that uh, when we uh, differentiate we're going to get what we started with and um, the fact that we're seeing this constant of integration c tells us that um, this is uh, an indefinite integral so what we want to take a look at in uh, this video are um, definite integrals so integrals where we're actually concerning ourselves with finding the value of a function at the end of the integration so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at uh, and actually what needs to be said is that when we're finding the value of an integral what we need to make sure is that we include the boundaries of the inter integral. So what I want to find is what is the value of the integral of x squared of the function x squared uh, between the values of 1 and 3. And by custom we write the lower bound at the lower tail of the integral sign and the upper bound at the higher sign at the upper part of the integral sign. So that tells me Further down the road, we're going to discover that this corresponds to the area of the under the curve of um, function x squared. But for now, we just need to remember that this is the definite integral in this interval. So I know already that the integral of um, x cubed dx is x squared over 3. So I can rewrite this as, and using square brackets, x cubed over 3 plus c between 1 and 3. And to find the value of the integral between those boundaries, all I need to do is insert um, the upper bound and into the expression and then subtract from the result the lower bound. The way it would look like is um, 3 cubed over 3 plus c uh, minus 1 cubed over 3 plus c. Um, so in the first bracket, I'm calculating the value of the integral for the upper bound and then I'm subtracting the value of the integral for the lower bound. If I get rid of the brackets, I'm going to get 3 cubed is um, 27 over 3 is simply 9 plus c and then minus 1 cube is 1, that, that, that's 1 over 3 and minus c. First thing I'm noticing is that constants of integration disappear and then I only end up with 9 minus a third, which is equal to 8 and 2 thirds. So this is how I would deal with finding a definite integral of a function, or the value of the integral of a function in a given boundary, between two given boundaries. The key thing to recognize here is that the constant of integration disappears, so I can sort of not worry about it too much when taking the definite integral. Okay, so... Uh, let's take a look at a couple more examples of um, calculating definite integrals. So a uh, function I'm integrating between 1 and 4, and the function I'm integrating is theta plus 2 all over root theta d theta. So um, to integrate that, I'm going to separate this into two fractions, same with the denominator root theta, and then I'm going to um, find the integral of the ex uh, expression, so between 1 and 4. Um, root theta over root theta is simply root theta and I can rewrite 2 over root theta as um, 2 um, root theta to minus 1 and I can actually rewrite this a little bit further uh, to simplify a little bit more so between 1 and 4 uh, theta to the power of half and plus 2 uh, theta to minus uh, half so What's that going to turn into um, is open up square bracket from the first expression theta half plus one all over half plus one um, plus um, two theta minus one plus one minus half plus one over minus half 
class one, close square bracket, and I'm finding the value of this expression between one and four. So that would turn into um, theta to the power of three over two from the first bracket, all over three over two, and then plus two theta to the power of half, all over a half. All that stays in the square bracket, and I'm finding the value of the expression between one and four. So now I can simplify to get a fraction of two over three theta to three over two, and plus four theta uh, to the power of a half, between one and four. So now I can sub the values into the expression to get, uh, open up the bracket, two over three by four, the power of 3 over 2 plus 4 times 4 uh, to the power of 2 and I'm subtracting from this 2 over 3 by 1 to the power of 3 over 2 um, let's put the square bracket in here and then plus 4 by 1 to the power of a half and close the square bracket so doing the calculations, I'm ending up with, from the first bracket, 5 and 1 third plus 8. From the second bracket, minus 2 thirds and then minus 4. And to get the result, I'm going to add everything together and I'm getting 8 and 2 thirds. Okay, so let's take a look at another example where I'm going to deal with um, trigonometric function instead. So I'm, on, I'm, I'm going to find out the value of between 0 and pi over 2 of uh, 3 sine of uh, 2x dx. So the first step is to find the integral of this and that will go, that's going to be equal to um, minus 3 over 2 cos of 2x and I'm going to find the value of minus 2 over 2 cos of 2x between 0 and pi over 2. So to do that I'm going to substitute in and that gives me minus 3 over 2 um, cos of 2, let's put that in a square bracket, 2 times uh, pi over 2 and minus minus 3 over 2 cos of uh, 2 times 0 that's the argument close the square bracket so simplifying i'm going to get um, minus 3 over 2 um, cos of pi minus minus 3 over 2 cos of 0 so um, now I can finally calculate that. So cos of uh, pi is equal to minus 1. So that's um, minus 3 over 2 by minus 1. And then 2 minuses will give me a plus. Plus, um, let's close this, plus uh, 3 over 2 cos, actually, sorry, cos of 0 is equal to 1 times 1. So minus 3 over uh, 2 times minus 1 is equal to 3 over 2 plus 3 over 2 and that equals to 3. Um, 3 over 2 plus 3 over 2, that's 6 over 2 and that equals to 3. Okay, uh, so then um, we can take a look at another example. Actually, I want to take a look at the exponential functions. So let's take a look at between 1 and 2. I want to take a look at functions 4 e to the power of 2x and all dx of course. So the integral of this is um, uh, 4 times 1 over 2 e to the power of 2x between 1 and 2. Um, so simplifying that going to be 2 uh, e to the power of 2x and that's between 1 and 2. So actually what I can do is I can take the uh, take two out of the bracket, but I might actually, I might do it. So that uh, by substituting the values in, um, that's 2 e to the power of 2 times 2 minus 2 e to the power of 2 times 1. 
Um, so that will be equal to 2e to the power of 4 minus 2 um, e to the power of 2 so that will be 2 times 54.598 minus 2 times 7.389 when you put it into the calculator you're going to get that this value is equal to 9.94 0.427 okay one more example that we're going to take a look at will be the one that also uses the log natural log so I want to take an integral between 1 and 4 of 3 quarters 3 over 4 x dx so I can rewrite this as um, 3 quarters times 1 over x and then taking the log of everything I'm going to get that uh, value of this definite integral is going to be equal to 3 over 4 um, uh, ln x and the value is taken between 1 and 4 so that equals to 3 over 4 ln of 4 minus 3 over 4 ln of 1 so natural log of 4 is equal to 1.38 so that's 3 over 4 times 1.38 8 and natural log of 1 is equal to 0 minus 3 over 4 times 0 so that equals to 1.04 so again for the definite integrals uh, the first step is to find the uh, integral of the function of the expression that we're trying to um, uh, calculate and then once we have that expression then to find the values of the function between at the boundaries then subtract and that will give us our result that's it for today and um, hope you found this useful and then we're going to continue with the integrals going uh, going forward so next time we're going to take a look at um, the 